Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we will be going over the paycheck to paycheck budget for week four of December. I already filmed this and didn't like the way it turned out, so we're doing it again. Um, basically, what I do before I do these paycheck to paychecks is I look in my monthly overview and just see which um, bills we have due during that week. We get paid on Wednesday, so like it'd be Wednesday to Wednesday, and I just look and see what I have to pay and then I leave those in the account because I they're basically all on auto pay a couple of them I have to schedule but most of my bills are on auto pay so we have sparklets which is just a water delivery service this is a budgeted amount I'm not quite sure how much the actual bill will be um, until uh, they invoice us basically uh, then we have water uh, that's $24.81 and then subscriptions. I lumped these all together because there's so many we have. We have Netflix, Hulu, and Audible times two coming out. So that's where I got this number. So if it's like $654, $1178, $1603, dollars yep. So four subscriptions that we have and then we have a collection account that we're paying for Alex, it was a, just a big ordeal and that's what we've decided on paying them. It's not part of our debt snowball. It's not gonna keep us from going to step three when we pay off the car and the credit card. It's just something that I'm considering a bill <laughs> because it's not something that I necessarily need to try to pay off as quickly as possible because I, I would rather not pay it and it's not my debt, it's not my my um, issue and I am paying it, it's just, to me it's like a bill, it's like just a bill that I pay every month and that's okay with me. Uh, groceries, $80 plus, this is basically what was like rolled over from last week, so when I add up everything I'll just add the $80. Um, but this is like basically what we have to spend, so we have $186 a hundred dollars and 86 cents to spend and then gas same thing we have we can probably both completely fill up our cars on $95 so that's what these little extra things are and then I take my mortgage out of the bonus check so basically it evens out our check to be about the same amount as it would be if we didn't get bonuses that that week because it's hard, it's not hard, it's just confusing for me to have to schedule that out every single week. I can just take it out of my bonus check because our bonus checks are so, like they're usually double what we get paid on a normal week. So it's just easier for me and we're kind of like a month ahead on the mortgage so it just works better. That's how I do it. And then eat out, we get $35 cash, mom gets $30 for watching Dominic and then me and Alex both get $100 spending money. If you add all that up, it's $1,494.43, which is a good $500 different than what I'm budgeting us getting paid, which is nice. I think it'll be more than that, um, so stay tuned for the results. I know that it was another good bonusing month for our for Quick Trip, so I can't wait to see what we got paid. And then we'll be able to put a lot more towards the debt. I'm really excited about paying off this card. We just dipped under $2,000 that we owe, so we're getting there. We're almost there. I definitely think we should have it paid off by January. Um, that was my goal uh, when I started budgeting. It was about two, it was at like 4,000. I can show you guys real quick. So originally it was at, and these numbers do not make sense probably to anybody but me because like sometimes I don't put the interest in and whatever. But it started at $4,430.98. And then sometimes like I don't put the whole payment that I put, I'll just put like the new number. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. But uh, it's now it's down to $19.99. So I just haven't written in anything for December yet. But quite a bit of money we have put towards that card in the last couple months. So about $2,700. So that's pretty cool. And we're just gonna keep trucking and hopefully we don't have any unbudgeted and once we get that card paid off I am gonna start beefing up the sinking funds I think that I don't have anything else like super pertinent that I need to start saving for until maybe February so 
uh, stay tuned for uh, sinking funds basically because I'm basically ending sinking funds in January so that we can get that car just paid off and done and then I'll start it back up in February I want some new glasses in June that's when I can like use my insurance copay thing towards it and then vacations and gifts and all sorts of fun stuff we'll be adding for sinking funds in February. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.